Good morning, Team Iceland. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheney, and you are in the best place for all things Iceland planning. Today, I have a fun video. We are headed to Bonus, the grocery store. One of the most requested topics lately. Uh, it's kind of funny because that is just like part of our daily life, and so I kind of forget that that has to do with Iceland planning, but it does. We're gonna check it out today. We're gonna talk about the prices and the products they have and the store hours and all of the things but before we do make sure you guys are subscribed because every week is a new video about Iceland planning and you need to be aware of those so that you can have the best trip ever all right so the first thing to know is if you've seen my grocery store video which I'm sure you have it's really formative but it's super outdated at this point those prices and those products are actually like we need to do a new one but for the most part, you know that Bonus is one of the main grocery stores in Iceland. With that being said, I would say it's also the cheapest. It's also a grocery store that you're probably gonna run into most often as a tourist. I'm gonna put a map on this screen here, but they have various locations throughout the country. So whether you're in Reykjavik or traveling around the ring road, you're probably gonna see a Bonus. A really, really, really important part of grocery shopping in Iceland is planning around the opening times. Bonus in particular, I have found has the worst hours of them all. Um, opening at 10 a.m. and closing anywhere between six and eight o'clock p.m. This is really important because sometimes when you're traveling around, you're not really thinking about getting groceries for the next day until you get to your location, but that's something you might wanna consider. And to make that easier for you, I've actually included all of the opening hours on all of the maps that I sell on my website. So you don't even have to look it up, you can just check out the map. With that being said, let's head into bonus. Walk in, there's typically the bread section, so it could be anything from bakery items like muffins and donuts all the way to bread, things like that. Over here, we have some coffee and tea. That's about eight dollars for a bag of coffee, and about four dollars for a box of tea. Um, let's see, a loaf of bread is about $2.50. And they have, you know, white bread and grain bread and things like that. More bread and bakery goods. Some pre-packaged stuff and some fresh stuff that they get in every day. Now we have some cookies. sell Oreos a little differently here <laughs> but a sleeve of Oreos is gonna be about a dollar fifty and a package of crackers is like a dollar fifty as well so great great bargains here we have some beverages it's very common in Iceland to buy things in two liters or cans so we have a big selection of sparkling waters and sodas and you can see here that there is no regular bottled water that usually doesn't even exist in Iceland because this is not something that you need to buy. You can just drink from the tap. And so a box of uh, 10, a box of 10 soda is about $8. And a two liter of sparkling water is about a dollar, dollar fifty. Juices over here as well. Capri Sun, some more Icelandic juices, little smoothies up here energy drinks Iceland is a really big uh, they're really big on energy drinks and so you have um, some 
different choices here. I actually really like the collab. It's kind of like a collagen um, caffeine since they're sugar-free. All right, heading into the first cooler. Um, I always think this is funny because they have just a gigantic cooler full of stuff rather than like individual coolers. So that is something unique to Bonus for sure. Um, in here you have deli meats and then a bunch of dairy stuff. So yogurts, milks, uh, cheeses, uh, things like that. And then in the middle is the meat products. So fish, chicken, and meat. So let's go check it out. Chicken, uh, sliced ham and chicken. Things like that. One thing that's nice is kind of like a little pre-packaged soup. That's really, really good for traveling. Here is your wall of skier. You can see there's a lot of different brands and different flavors. Um, we should do a whole video on skier because it's like so variable, but they have all kinds of stuff. Greek yogurts as well. Milk is about $1.50 per liter. And then this skier you can get in bigger tubs like this for about $4. And then an individual cup of skier is about $1.50. Going back over here, some more like the, these are like a thicker, hmm, yeah, like a yogurt basically. Protein drinks. Uh, this is the delicious Ryomi, which is cream. Definitely recommend that you try this because it tastes like heaven. Shredded cheeses, some hard cheeses here. Mm. All right, in the middle we have our meats. So there's like some lamb here. I'm just gonna buzz in here really quick. Uh, pork products, ground pork lamb leg, I mean some stuff that you're gonna need and some stuff that you're definitely not gonna need. So here's some fish, packages. Ooh, this is like, you know, pre-packaged lasagna. That might come in handy, although this is like $15, but this is a pretty big portion. All right, so package of ground beef here is about $8, $8.50. More cheeses. And yeah, we're just gonna head to the next section. Baba. So one thing that I really don't like about Bonus is like the layout of their store always seems really crammed. I always feel like you can't pass. So as you can see, things are like really like tight and narrow aisles and stuff like that. So I don't know, it's just my personal preference, but anyway, uh, along this wall is some frozen vegetables and over here is some fresh chicken. So let's check that out. vegetables, a whole bag for about three dollars. Fresh berries, a bag of frozen strawberries for four dollars. Ice cubes, people always ask me about ice cubes so you can get ice cubes here in bonus. Um, it's about three dollars for a bag. Ice creams, the chicken cooler. Um, one thing that's really nice is they have these sous vide chicken that's pre-packaged. It's a little on the expensive side of like five, $25 for three chicken breasts, but that's actually a really, really great um, thing to have on hand, especially if you're staying in a guest house or doing a camper van just so you can have a quick meal. You'll see some pre-packaged like ready to go food in Iceland. It's just really not as common um, as it is in the US. A uh, package of chicken breast here. Chicken breast is always really expensive. Right now it's Easter, so they have all of their Easter candy out and it is a lot, like a lot of Easter candy. Tons and tons um, of different options in like the, uh, the regular grocery section. So pretty much all like the canned things that you would need, peanut butter, um, you know, cookies and crackers, protein bars, snacks. They have my favorite popcorn, chips, all of that. This is my favorite popcorn, if you are wondering. It's called Stretna Pop. It is incredible. It is $1.50 and you need to buy it for your trip. Chips are about $1.50 per bag here. Ritz crackers, about $1.50. Noodles, 
um, obviously a staple for any travel. A bag of pasta, $1.50. Uh, rice, so just a, just a big bag of rice is $3.50. Pasta sauces. Uh, this is about two fifty, two dollars for some pasta sauce, ketchup, barbecue sauce. And here's all their candy. Um, this is like a big section of any grocery store in Iceland. People love their candy, of course. Definitely recommend that you try some. Here's like a big box. Chrein is usually what I get for my guests. I really like the crunch chocolate crunch in there. Um, all of your licorice candies, very, very Nordic. Some different protein bar options. Uh, my favorite is Bear Bells. And these are about uh, just a little over $2 each, but you can also find some other brands as well. All there, are a lot of frozen stuff in the middle of the store as well. So I don't know, frozen breads, frozen fishes, frozen meats, so extra, extra stuff in here, frozen pizzas, stuff like that. So you just kind of have to look around. It's kind of like, I don't know, not intuitive <laughs> to me. There's like different sections everywhere. Like there was the frozen stuff over here, now there's the frozen stuff over here. Uh, let's head into the other cooler, which is the produce cooler. Let's, usually the, store, the grocery stores will let you have a banana for your little one if you're shopping with kids, so that's good to know. Here you go, buddy. All right, here's the produce cooler. Another cooler, so <laughs> bring your coat because you're gonna be inside uh, multiple coolers in Bonus. All right, Bonus has uh, a pretty decent selection of produce, I would say. So here we have blue, um, God, Genie. Like for example, here is a big tub of blueberries and this is about $9, so it's not cheap, but that's what we have. We have bags of grapes. Grapes are also surprisingly expensive in Iceland. Packaged foods, and then there's some like, you know, loose foods. So just kind of have to see, uh, here's the bags that you can get to put your produce in, and you don't weigh it before you get to the cash register. You can pay for it there. Watermelons, pears, apples, Okay, potatoes and onions, things like that. Bonus actually puts their eggs in their produce cooler. So that's a fun uh, fun thing, because if you didn't know that, you would probably be looking around like, where are the eggs? There they are. <laughs> yeah, bell peppers, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, lettuce, fun stuff. And we're heading out of the cooler. Bonus always has like some random things too, like here's some greeting cards and some coloring books and here's some socks so if you need things just look around in random corners of bonus all right over here you're gonna find some cereals oatmeal and things like that a box um, first of all you're not gonna find a big selection of cereal in Iceland but here a box of Cheerios or Honey Nut Cheerios is about five dollars and another great option for breakfast is this like oats in a cup so you just add boiling water this is less than a dollar each great thing just right here in the cereal aisle. They also have these cups of noodles that it's just, um, yeah, already in a cup. This is about a dollar each, so that is a great deal. Canned tuna, also great for a road trip. This is just over uh, $2 per can. Cup of soup, uh, little packets that you can buy. This is about $2 and there's three cups of soup in here perfect like pro tip is that they have this salt in the grocery store this is lava salt and this is birch smoke salt and then this is just regular sea salt and not only is it a perfect souvenir but it's so delicious to take home and use on your foods more ice cream stuff just randomly over here okay uh, let's get into, no, you guys probably don't need this, this stuff very much, but here's some cleaning supplies. Uh, I wanted to show you the baby food stuff. Here we like to get a little snack. Do you want to get a snack, Soren? Um, okay, you can have like, yeah, some little puffs, bags of puffs. Those are about a dollar each. These um, pouches, 
are about $2 a piece. There is some formula if you need formula in your life. Lots of different options, I think. Well, I think there are, but maybe not compared to some places. I've never had a baby in the US, so these are, this is what we have. And then diapers as well. So uh, a package just of regular like diapers. There are 25 diapers in here and it's about $15. Um, and then they have wipes too. Uh, they have personal care items as well. So, um, you know, if you're needing a toothbrush or shampoo, conditioner, any of that kind of stuff, here they have that at bonus. All right, moving on to the last couple of things inside the store. Um, you can usually find some prepackaged sandwiches. So this is really nice if you're trying to grab something quick for a road trip. So here's some sandwiches, smoothies, and then cold beverages as well. At the front of the store, you're gonna find cash registers, um, you know, that are manned, and then you're gonna find self-checkout cash registers as well. So if you just have a couple things and you don't mind going through, um, I usually like to use that. If you just want, then you can have someone do the work for you. And then the other really important thing to know is that you um, have to bag your own groceries. They don't do it for you and you have to pay for bags or bring your own. But if you um, just grab some bags here, those are like plastic bags. And then you can also buy a reusable bag to take home with you, which is a fun souvenir. And this is pretty easy. You can just start scanning, put it down, uh, and then you can change the language here if you want to change it to English. It popped up if I have a bag, so you can push how many bags you have, continue, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys found this information helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for new Iceland videos every week, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy planning.